In the past, our channel has made videos regarding depression and how it may affect you. Today, we'll be talking about some of the differences between depression and one of its subtypes, psychotic depression disorder. Before we continue, it's important that we clarify some of the terminology. Doing so will help us better fully understand depression. According to the American Psychological Association, depression is a negative emotional state that ranges from unhappiness and discontent to extreme feelings of sadness, melancholia, pessimism, and despondency. These feelings are disruptive and often interfere with everyday life. Somatic, cognitive, and social changes tend to co-occur during a depressive episode. Some of those changes include, but are not limited to, changes in sleeping habits, appetite changes, lack of energy or motivation, difficulty focusing or making choices and withdrawal from social settings. This is the kind of depression most of us are familiar with, whether we've observed it in others or in ourselves. This is where most depressive disorders fall under. Think of depressive disorders as a tiny umbrella underneath the much larger umbrella of depression. Depressive disorders refer to any mood disorder that typically has sadness as a predominant symptom. So, some disorders that fall under a depressive disorder are clinical depression, also known as major depression, persistent depressive disorder, disruptive mood dysregulation, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, seasonal affective disorder, postpartum depression, bipolar disorder, mania, and hypomania. Within the subtype of major depression exists psychotic depression. Psychologist Anthony D. Smith outlines the symptoms that characterize major depression, which are depressed mood, sleep changes, suicidal thoughts, feelings of worthlessness, among many others. Common characteristics are depressed mood, anhedonia, lack of interest in previously enjoyed activities, sleep changes, appetite changes, fatigue, hyper or hypoactivity, suicidal thoughts, attempts, lack of focus, feelings of guilt or worthlessness. So where does psychotic depression fit in? In the case of psychotic depression, it's more than just a depressed mood and accompanying symptoms. Psychotic depression is a form of major depression where people may also experience psychosis. Per the American Psychological Association's definition, psychosis is an abnormal mental state that makes it difficult to identify reality. It can cause serious impairments in fundamental higher brain functions such as perception, cognition, cognitive processing, and emotional affect. These disruptions manifest in delusions, hallucinations, and disorganized speech. Jessica shared her experience with psychosis on Rethink Mental Illness's blog. She described her psychotic episodes as being disconnected from reality. Although her experience is not specific to psychotic depression, it does help us understand a little what psychotic depression may feel like. It's important for us to know that psychosis alone is not an illness, it's merely a symptom. According to licensed social worker, Teresa Nian of Mental Health America, approximately 3% of the population experiences psychosis. Additionally, studies compiled by the NIH estimate that anywhere between 10 to 100 people out of 100,000 develop psychosis each year. Psychotic episodes usually present behavioral warnings such as paranoia, uneasiness around others, trouble thinking clearly, unusual or overly intense ideas, lack of feelings, decline in self-care or personal hygiene, sleep disruptions, difficulty separating reality and fantasy and confused speech and trouble communicating. There are no specific factors that cause psychosis. It's a mix of genetic factors, differences in brain development, and exposure to stressors or trauma. As we mentioned before, psychosis is a symptom that helps doctors diagnose mental illnesses like schizophrenia and conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. One thing that we need to point out is the key differences between psychotic depression and schizophrenia. People with schizophrenia believe their hallucinations or delusions are real, whereas people with psychotic depression know that their hallucinations are not real. Individuals who suffer from psychotic depression may experience agitation, which manifests in not being able to sit still or excessive fidgeting. This is sometimes called psychomotor agitation. The other extreme of this is psychomotor retardation, where they experience everything in slow motion, both thoughts and physical movements. Other symptoms include persistently feeling worried or on edge, falsely believing you have sickness, poor concentration, and difficulty sleeping. Dr. Anthony J. Rothschild of the University of Massachusetts Medical School in Worcester 
said, the suicide rate in people with psychotic depression when they fall ill and are in their acute phase is much higher than it is with major depression. So if you notice out of character changes in yourself, reach out to a licensed professional who can help you assess your symptoms, provide proper diagnosis and treatment. What causes psychotic depression? There is no definite cause for psychotic depression. However, like most other subtypes, it's onset by a stressful or traumatic event, such as a grief, divorce, serious illness, or financial worries. Some psychologists believe that genetics can also play a role. How can you treat psychotic depression? There are many treatment options for psychotic depression. Cognitive behavioral therapy has proven effective in treating many depressive disorders. There's also the option to take medication. Make sure to consult with a licensed professional for a proper medication treatment plan. However, one of the most important treatments can be support. Along with the other treatment options, offering support and empathy can make the world of difference to anyone going through depression. Depression can be a difficult monster to challenge on your own. It can be confusing, overwhelming, and taxing, but you're not alone. Although it may be hard, please reach out to someone you trust. It can be scary to talk about something you don't really know how to explain, but just talking to someone may lighten your burden. If someone you know suffers from depression, reach out to them with empathy and genuine care. Let them know that with you, they have a judgment-free space to discuss their thoughts and feelings. If you're concerned that they may harm themselves or notice them acting differently, reach out to their guardian, social worker, or someone who can offer them the help that they need. We hope you've learned more about psychotic depression from this video. Take care of yourself and take care of those around you. Don't forget to like, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.